You're listening to Vanguard Radio, Studio 71. Welcome to Vanguard K9 Radio Talk. This is VanguardK9Talk.com. And today we got selective line kennels with some of the greatest dogs also here in America. We're going to call a client and we're going to find out about these dogs and that we're breeding here at Vanguard and we want to hear what the guys say. So we were just talking about genetics of a dog. And selective line kennels like myself knows the importance of genetics in good dogs. We're going to call a client that just got a dog off the plane, hadn't talked to him. This is not rehearsed. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now. Go to VanguardK9.com on YouTube and we want to subscribe to our channel. We need you to support the radio show. Hello? Hey, how you doing? This is VanguardK9.com and Selective Line Kennels. Hey, how's it going? This is Thomas Brown. Yeah, Mr. Thomas Brown. We calling you right here at Live Talk Radio at VanguardK9.com. And we heard that you just got you a Vanguard K9 dog. And we want to know if we sold you a piece of shit. <laughs> if we done took your money and sold you a piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's, we got to get this in here. This this is a beautiful dog with the perfect genetics. I am very pleased. She only been in my possession about less than two hours, and she's magnificent, magnificent. What? Oh, man. So can you hear me? When, yeah, we can hear you. We got you on the we got you on the live podcast. We doing a live podcast. So when the, when you hey, okay. when you first what, what would you, how would you feel in? Because a lot of people don't know me, right? And you know, everybody call me with their things and they be like, this guy might be a little bit arrogant. I don't know if I should give him my money for these black, you know what I mean? Be like, I don't need giving him no black. You know, the first thing they say, oh, colored boy, giving him my money. <laughs> Were you afraid? I know, but how did it go for you, the whole process of getting the dog? Well, I, I, I've been watching your channel for probably a year. And it's just your personality and the things that you talk about for us a dog, it just it just hit my heart. Sometimes, you know, you just know things to be true. You don't have to be there to witness it, but sometimes the truth feels like the truth. And I felt comfortable. I didn't have a problem with sending you the money. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Checked you out. I talked to you. Everything sounded good. Right. So and, when you got your dog... How was the process after you paid for your paid for your dog? You 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 sent me pictures of you at the store, at the vet, at the airline counter. I didn't listen to you out we talked on three way to the people on at Delta Airlines. I mean, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. I was comfortable through the whole process. That's good. That's good. Cause you know what, man? Being a man of color. It is hard for me, you know, for people to just give me money. And uh, no matter, I have to work twice as hard sometimes. And I don't want to be like pulling the color card and guys be like, man, you're pulling the color card. This is real scary for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. But, you know, uh, I have to work as hard, harder than everybody. And I do try to deliver because I, I want that good, um, you know, referral in the end. I do want to show you. I want to make you feel. I know how it is to save up some money. Money. I may have money, but I know because of I've been in a position where I didn't have money, and I know when you give somebody your money, you want them to feel good about, or you want to feel good in your soul about what they're doing with your money that they're going to send you what you want. Because people will lie to you. They don't even send you good dogs. The dog will be terrified of everything you've seen. Doesn't do anything they said, but it was all about a sale. To me. What's more important is that I give you exactly what I said the dog was going to be. And, most of all, give you and your family what you said you was looking for. And that, exactly. And that's what exactly. I, I was hoping. And, and I appreciate that because I wasn't able to be physically there to pick out what I wanted. I explained to you what I wanted. You told me about a, a few dogs that you had. And uh, the one that you felt after I continued to explain what I wanted. That will be the perfect match for me, and I told you, hey, I'm gonna go with your expertise. Right. You know, I originally, I originally wanted the male, um, but you told me about this female, and I'm glad I chose her. I'm glad you talked me uh, into what, what she was about, and I chose her because that was the right dog for me. I would have got there and just picked and took a look at, you know, 
size or something to that nature. But you walked me through the whole process and told me for what I want and what I'm trying to do, this is what you got. Right. And and, and I loved it. You was truthful with me. Right. So, I loved it. so when you got home, what was it that amazed you about the dog? Because people out there in the world, they, they, they need to hear this. What was it oh. that you liked? Oh, uh, just a minute that I got out for our first training session. I mean, she just listening. I mean, after two or three repetitions, she was catching on. Mm -hmm. And I just looked up at my wife and I told her, I said, you know what? I should have got two. <laughs> Studio 71 with Vanguard K9 Talk Show. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube right now if you have not. You're going to miss out on some of the world's greatest information. How's your temperament around the family and everything? Oh, beautiful. She's outside in the backyard right now with my grandkids.